story we are going to read today is Wings to Fly. Story Saumya Pictures Arun Kaushik Little Malati has a red skirt with two pockets. She knows what the pockets are for. One is for chikki and the other is for lemon jelly. The shop near her house has all the sweets in the world. On the way, there are curious little chicks and an angry mother hen. What fun it would be to chase them. Malati looks out of the window. The ground is full of splashes of yellow. Ripe mangoes have fallen from the tree. She wants to catch one as it falls. For that, she will have to run out. But how can Malati do that? She is in a wheelchair. Malati is seven years old. She sits in the wheelchair, moving her shoulders up and down, up and down. There is a race coming up and she wants to win. There will be other children who are equally good, Malati knows. She has to practice hard if she wants to get that medal. When Malati was about a year old, she had high fever and lost the strength in her legs. For two years, her parents took her to doctors in Bengaluru where they lived. Finally, they took her to Chennai for treatment. You must stay back if you want to get better, the doctor said. So Malati lived in Chennai at a medical center for nearly 15 years. Away from father, mother, brothers and sister. Away from the sweet shop. Away from the chicks and the mother hen. Away from the mangoes that fell in her backyard. Whenever she went home to Bangalore for the summer holidays, everyone made a big fuss over her, especially her father. She was his favourite. Her eldest brother would put her in the carrier of his cycle and off they would go to the tent cinema near their house. The doctors did many operations on Malati to keep fit. They told her to exercise to move her shoulders, move her arms, move her body. Malati found that she liked doing this. She liked to exercise. She liked to play. She liked medals too, but she began to win. Malati was about 18 years old when she came back to live in Bengaluru. She had become very good at sport. She had won two gold and two silver medals at the first national sports meet for the disabled. That made her famous. She was in the newspaper. When she was 23 years old, Malati started working in a bank. She was very good at her work. She could remember people's account numbers. She could remember how much money they had when they couldn't themselves. She made friends, lots of them. Around this time, Malati went to Ahmedabad for a sports meet. She entered her name for the track event. Then she found there was a problem. No other woman had given in her name. But I want to participate, Malati said. No, said the organizers. We need at least three participants. But I am very good at track events, Malati said. Sorry, said the organizers. This is the rule. But, said Malati, no, said the organizers. Malati was sad. She really wanted that medal. She wanted to make her friends at the bank proud of her. She wanted to win the medal for them. She decided to take part in the men's event. I'll race with the men, she told the organizers. Malati was sure she would win. But when she went to the starting line, her heart began to thump wildly. She was going to race with men who had been in the army. They were all so big, so strong. She shut her eyes. She was just going to do her best. She wasn't going to think about anything else. One, two, three. Bang! Malti wheeled as fast as she could. Let me not be the last, let me not be the last, she prayed. Her arms ached. 
Her body was in pain. Let me not be the last, let me not be the last, she prayed, wheeling herself faster and faster. When the race was over, Malati wasn't the last one, she was the first. Nobody could believe it, including Malati. The race taught Malati something. She never forgot. She could win as long as she tried. And Malati's dreams became bigger. She was Malati Hola, the girl who didn't need wings to fly. The end. Have a happy reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys.